just rolled. And welcome to Call of Cthulhu, officially. <laughs> nice. <laughs> As the story begins, uh, it's April 12th, 1926, approximately 8.15 p.m. The Beacon Island Lighthouse off the shore of Folly Point, Massachusetts, ceases to cast its light over the region's dangerous rocky waters about 15 minutes ago. As a result, the SS Essex, Essex Count... That is a hard one. SS Essex... Es, God damn. SS <laughs> Essex County. SS <laughs> Essex County. Yeah. Like, that is a hard one. <laughs> really vocal alliteration. Gotta, gotta a mixed it. passenger and cargo vessel on which you are traveling to Rockport has foundered on the rocks and incurred considerable damage to its hull. The ship is sinking and the crew hurries you towards one of the many small rowboats acting as the ship's lifeboats. As they load you in, they tell you your best bet is to aim for Beacon Island. They doubt you'll make the mainland as a storm is brewing. You should have just enough time to reach the island before it hits. Then, without another word, they shove you off into the dark, churning waters. All you have to guide you is the small light shining at the base of the lighthouse's towering silhouette. Alrighty, so if you'll open up your character sheets, you'll find that they are very, very different than 5e. You've got about twice as many stats now. <laughs> yeah. And you'll notice that there are certain things on here that uh, you wouldn't find on a 5e sheet. Like, uh, that actually matter. Like, your age and gender. <laughs> they actually matter. As well as your occupation. Which is kind of like your class. I, I can't exactly click it right now, <laughs> but I really want to see the possession tab. <laughs> Uh, it's possessions as in belongings, not things you are possessed by. Uh, things you own. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh that's sad. Alrighty. Yeah. So, unfortunately, unlike uh, 5e, there more or less is no way to min-max a character in Call of Cthulhu like you can in 5e, Pathfinder, Warhammer, whatever the hell you might be playing. At the end of the day... You're only human, and an extra five points in archaeology isn't saving you from a tentacle monster. <laughs> it is when you're armed with a rock. But oh boy, he's going to be real <laughs> impressed when I fucking explain rocks to him. <laughs> <laughs> or it, or whatever. I don't know how these things work. Uh, instead of picking a class, you pick an occupation, being what your character does when they aren't tracking down the things that go bump in the night. Uh, your occupation is going to affect your skills, so but you don't pick your occupation until you've rolled your stats, in this game referred to as characteristics. Uh, unlike in 5e, where you roll dice to determine your stat values, in Call of Cthulhu, each stat is rolled separately using a specific formula and then assigning it. So if you would now click the Use the Character Mancer option, and then Standard Character. Now it'll give you the option to roll your stats. And you can actually roll all of them all at once. But uh, the stats are rolled differently. Uh, your strength, constitution, dexterity, power, and appearance. You'll roll 3d6 and multiply it by 5. To get your intelligence, education, and size, you'll roll 2d6 plus 6 and multiply it by 5. And after getting your totals, you should also take note of the one-half and one-fifth values of that number, which Roll20 will calculate for you. Alright, so you can hit the Roll All button now. <laughs> and we can watch the screen get painted in dice. Yeah, I need to turn visual dice back on as well. Dice off. That's, that's, 
Ух. Man, I am tiny compared to y'all. <laughs> That is a uh, exceptional education score. You actually rolled maximum. That's the smartest yeah, you can be at base. And my You're luck, the nerd. My <laughs> luck is the expert. All right. The next step to creating your character is deciding the character's age, which is the next tab. So your age will actually affect your character statistics. They do have a mechanical influence on your character. You do have to either randomize your age or manually type one in. What year did you say this was again? 1940 something? Uh, 1926. Yeah. Six. Okay, I'm way off. So between World Wars 1 and 2. Awesome. What is an improvement role? I was going to get there in just a moment because your age Sorry. determines uh, if you either get an improvement or a reduction. Oh. Basically, the older you are, the more improvements you get because the older you are, the more educated you are. But it will also reduce your physical characteristics, such as your strength and size. And nope, can't read. Strength, constitution, and dexterity. And you'll also reduce your appearance because time ruins the flesh. I just realized I have horrible appearance. And, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, my appearance is 60, it's alright. But my luck is I absolute have... wait, shit. Wait, oh my god, appearance is just. That. I didn't even realize. Yeah. <laughs> I have oh, 25 no. on appearance. Oh, man. Oof. What does that mean? Uh, it means you have failed your improvement roll. For improvement oh. check, you roll 1d100. If you roll higher than your education scale, you would have gotten an improvement. Mm. Which adds 1d10. Wow. Since my character is 26, I also get an improvement roll. I can't my character is 32. Uh, I couldn't. I can't possibly roll better than what I got. <laughs> Whoa! Everyone failed. Everybody well, failed. Well, yeah, but the first I, roll. I failed because I rolled the best I possibly could have. True. Luck outside of the game. Generally bad luck stat. <laughs> Alright, getting further into the meat of it. Uh, hit points, magic points, and sanity. Hit points are pretty easy to figure out. It's your size plus your constitution divided by 10. This is already figured out for you. Uh, your magic points and sanity are both linked to your power characteristic. Magic points are equal to one-fifth of your power, whereas sanity will be equal to your power. Uh, lastly comes luck, which is calculated by 3d6 times 5, which has already been rolled for us. Uh, let's see. Two or more stats of import been collected now. Our move rating and damage bonus. Damage bonus adds your strength to your size, then compares it to the total against the damage bonus chart, which has also already been calculated for us. I get a damage bonus of zero and a movement rate of nine meters, which is the distance you can move in a turn, much like D&D. Very cool. Yeah. Movement rate is actually the oddest stat that you have that you can determine. If both your dexterity and strength are each less than your size, you get a movement speed of seven. If either your strength or dexterity is equal to or greater than size, or if all three are equal, you get a movement of eight. If your strength and dexterity are each greater than size, you get movement nine. 
If your age is 40 or greater, you deduct one from movement for each 10 year period starting with 40. And your movement is equal to the number of yards you can move it around. And yes, this DTP RPG is set in America and uses the Imperial system. So get ready to do no. math. <laughs> Yeah. All right. <laughs> you ever wanted to do conversions in your game? <laughs> Listen, D and D's all in metric. Now you get to suffer. <laughs> I have Google. I'm on my computer. All right. Now we get to pick your occupation. So if you click on that tab. It'll give you a bunch of suggested occupations for your skill for your uh, stat spread. And each one of those, uh, you can pick any general job title and then compare it for the most similar job on the list. So like, say you wanted to be a surgeon. You would probably start with nurse and go from there. What would be the most similar to a mechanic? <laughs> oh, fucking the collectors? What the fuck? <laughs> oh boy, what a spread we've got here. <laughs> what um... credit rating? Uh, that is basically uh, how much money you make from that job. And we'll get to that in more detail in a minute. I don't worry about my credit score. <laughs> I don't even know what my actual credit score is. I don't think I have one. But uh, before we got here, I actually came up with a short backstory for my character so i know that i'm going to want to take the soldier background boy yeah i did i did that too but the problem is <laughs> I, I, now i've realized i probably should have waited until we actually did this yeah <laughs> it's fine i think i can make soldier work but it wouldn't it wouldn't be like this as fought a war soldier. Yeah. How old are you guys? Uh, 26. My character fought in World War One for the American side. <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna be a soldier for the Germans. <laughs> oh, Lord. Uh, right, maybe I'll go with someone else. Then. Oh, boy, you're lucky we never met on the battlefield. My character is mo He probably <laughs> worked know. fixing tanks. Yeah, I recognize that word, antiquarian. Those are very useful for making money in Darkest Dungeon. Kill points calculation. Yep. Uh, the first thing to note on the page for your chosen occupation is the occupation skill points. You take the characteristic score and multiply them by the given numbers, which. Again, rolls what he does for us because it's awesome and it wants to be. Uh, and those will be the skill points that you get to distribute amongst your job related skills, which you'll see right up at the top under your skill points and credit rating. Uh, before spending your skill points, you must determine if you want to specialize in a few skills or be decent at a lot of skills. <laughs> Because you can spread your skill points out, and you'll be likely to succeed in a variety of different roles. Because in Call of Cthulhu, we roll a d100 for everything, and you have to roll lower than your score. Oh, there's mechanical repair in Soldier, so yay, uh, I, I'm okay. All of my decks and strength are the same, so just skills. I am going to take a proficiency in swimming because we're on a goddamn island. Uh, 
I'm going to take Wages Specialization, and I'm going to take Rushing. And then first oh, aid. And once you have choose cho English, chosen those skills, uh, the next talking point is credit rating. You're actually required to spend a number of skill points that fall within your credit rating on the associated skill. And you basically don't keep track of how much money you actually have in Call of Cthulhu. You just weigh your credit rating against whatever you want to purchase. Nine times out of ten, you're not getting farther than what you start with. But we'll get to that in a minute. Oh, man. I'm at the skills part. Can I give up now? <laughs> we haven't gotten that far yet. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, and additionally, out. you get additional skill points to represent your character's outside work hobbies. Uh, these are not the amount of these free use skill points equal to your intelligence multiplied by two. Alright, so now we can pop over to skills, and you'll find that at the top you have occupational skills, which is what we were just rolling for. Uh, minus Hold on, uh, it says choose the skills, arts and crafts. What is that? Uh, you're basically choosing uh, skills related to your job. There are truly so many skills. Well, I did not buy any of the additional books for Call of Cthulhu, so I don't have a million options like I do for 5e. Okay, I'll put a question mark and then fill it in later. Alright. Whoa! But yeah, over on the skills page, you'll find that your minimum credit rating has already been deducted from your occupational score as you are required to put that many points into it. And on your grid here, you'll have your base skill points from just existing, going by your stats, your occupational points that you put in it that you can only put uh, your occupation skill points into. And those are the things that are directly related to your occupation. Oh, that's what you were talking about, uh, arts and crafts add skill. Because you can add additional yeah. skills that you wouldn't ordinarily have. And we'll get to that in a minute. But uh, you'll also have a number of personal points, which you can use to put in the personal column. And that represents your hobbies, the things you do outside of your job. Like, say, you're really, really knowledgeable about uh, computers and build them as a hobby in your den. You might want to put some points into computer use. Oh, boy. The only thing you're actually not allowed to take skill points in is Cthulhu Mythos. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? That can't be my hobby? I can't be super into Cthulhu? <laughs> Unfortunately, it is a rule. You can't be personal friends with Lovecraft now? <laughs> <laughs> he was alive, I think. Here's the question. What is a good number to put the skills at? Like, should I strive for a hundred yeah. or a twenty is a good one? If you want to be really, really good at a skill, you want it as close to as hundred as possible. That's like what wow. I was saying earlier. If you want to specialize in a few things, you can get those scores really, really high. Or you can spread your points out across a bunch of things and be sort of good at a lot of things. 130 person. <laughs> not, not that many. How does it work, the skills? Like, do I roll uh, a d100 and I need to reach above my skill? Or to you need roll to roll it, or lower. Uh, you need oh. to roll lower than it. 
So if I have a hundred at something, I just succeed every single succeed, time. Yeah. Okay, so putting a hundred in mechanical repair. <laughs> Man could fix a Sherman with his eyes blindfolded. That's one of your <laughs> occupation skills, so of course you could. Oh. Okay, so I, I assume if I put a lot into one of my occupation, it'll take from my occupation points and not my yep. personal. All That's right, why cool. there's different columns that you can change. Awesome, so I'm gonna be really good at those. Because, and as a former soldier, I have oh. access to both rifle and shotgun and handgun skills. I'm gonna choose to up those because there's a limited number of things you can start the game with, but we'll get to that in the I, next tab. I definitely want to be good at brawl. So I'm going to put the 65 of my points right into rifle shotgun, because in my backstory, I have specifically written that... Uh, it was particularly proficient with the Model 1903 Springfield rifle that was standard issue in World War I for the Americans, but later traded it in for a Winchester Model 1897 shotgun. And if you know exactly what shotgun that is, <laughs> there's a reason they called it the Trench Sweeper. It had no safety disconnect. <laughs> War crime stick still boom. <laughs> yep. May as well be good at dodge. <laughs> if it'll help me not die, that'd be great. Yeah, I think I'm gonna put 22 points into dodge to make that a nice even 50. I have so many occupation points, I may as well go kind of nutty with it. Right? <laughs> I mean, that's kind of the point. Swim will just be like pretty. Good. <laughs> I just have enough to get that much still. What is fa fast talk? Uh, fast, imagine. <laughs> Basically, it's uh, smooth talking people. Oh, so. right, yeah, I definitely want to have some points. Yeah. Deciding how to spend the skill points is kind of a pain in the ass. <laughs> yeah, there's so, many things, there's so many things I want to be good at, but probably shouldn't be. Or, I, like, I just keep seeing shit, and I'm like, oh, maybe I should be good at this. Maybe I shouldn't. Well, that's why you get separate occupation and personal stuff, so it's like, huh, yeah. what do I want to be super skilled at versus what is my hobby? Okay, I've got 40 personal points left. <laughs> Okay, well, you said there fast talk is for persuading people. What about charm? <laughs> what about persuade? <laughs> it's also <laughs> ah, the I stats go? are kind of weird. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh shit! Wait, brawl is part of my occupation. Why didn't I fucking? I'm an idiot. I don't. Yeah, take the fucking points out of swim. I'll be okay. <laughs> I have no idea what I want to put my personal points into, like, at all. 40, 40, and personal, no, no, 20. This, this is so hard. <laughs> I told you, it's a lot of math. I've, I think I've kind of figured out what I want. I, um really kind of zeroed in on my, my major concept here. <laughs> okay, so I put a lot of points in things I probably regret, but that's it. I think I'm, I'm here. <laughs> I think I'm, I'm honestly pretty happy with what I've decided on here. 
And if taking those points out of swim comes back to haunt me, uh, oh well, it's fucking, you know, it's Call of Cthulhu. Everything comes back to bite you in the ass eventually. <laughs> yes, I imagine you're going to need to swim at least a little bit on this island that we're going to be on. <laughs> okay, well, <laughs> fine. Fine. There now I'm all right now I'm happy now I'm now I'm confident. So four occupation. What should I put it in? Put it into brawl. There we go. Yeah, I'm happy with that. I'm gonna bump my credit rating up a little bit so I get more starting expenditures. I haven't even spent my personal points yet. Oh, I didn't even consider that. Part. I forgot about money. Maybe I'm less happy with what I decided to draw it. Give me some points back. And I think that's enough. You know what? Let me okay. put an extra 10 points of personal to shotgun. <laughs> okay. I'm now I'm happy. Now I'm now I'm happy with what I'm okay. Okay. Yeah. stroke. I'm gonna fucking. I'm gonna. Great, so I'm, I'm gonna, gonna move on. I'm gonna <laughs> execute some, some whatever goes down on this island. So, personal descriptions about appearance or backstory? Uh, we'll get there in a Both, moment. I presume. You're getting ahead of me. <laughs> Still building my character. Over Sorry. overconfidence <laughs> is what you want to have in Call of Cthulhu, right? <laughs> yes. You want to be overconfident and dumb? Sorry, it's the general anxiety disorder speaking. <laughs> well, let's talk about some other things. Uh, I got a new keyboard and mouse from Red Thunder. They're pretty fucking nice. This is the most ergonomic keyboard I've ever bought. Oh, I'm gonna put 60 points into Intimidate for my personal and 20 to listen. And Speaking of keyboard, I, I decided to clean my keyboard this week oh that must have been how gunk came out of that how can so much dirt fit inside a small keyboard you would be That's a great question and then i'm gonna have a can of compressed air for just to take care of that like every week oh i, I swear to god if a homeless man fell out of my keyboard that would be just like, okay but join the line <laughs> sure why not oh man the, the rest of my occupational point into my like language. So I can be that really, really like... good at my own language. Oh. <laughs> oh <yeah. laughs> I have one point in the language I decided to go for. That's fine. So I forgot about that. Oh. How often am I going to need to speak Italian <laughs> on this island? It's... Oh, you chose no. Italian too? I did choose Italian, <laughs> but we probably have them for very different reasons. Now I realize I should have uh, picked English as my language of specialization because my character is German. Yeah. <laughs> By default, own language is whatever country you come from. Gotcha. Oh, okay, but, so uh, let me put the English, otherwise we won't be able to communicate. Usually the language skills only relate to understanding the language, whether written or spoken. Alright, so now we can move over to the backstory, where you can enter your hometown, your birthplace, gender, personal description, ideologies, everything that makes your character your character. Austin. <laughs> uh, again, personal description, appearance, or backstory? Both. Why not both? Uh, usually it's a physical description. Oh boy. I think that's actual... portrait. Yeah. After you complete your character sheet, there will be a uh, bio page that you can actually do your 
the next one, so. Oh, okay. So, uh, my character is actually second generation Russian immigrant. So he was born in Brooklyn. Mm. <laughs> All right. Nico <laughs> Bellic, I like it. <coughs> oh. Oh, <Lord. coughs> and his hometown will also be Brooklyn because after the war that is where he returned <laughs> I mostly picked a location in New York because one I live there and two it's close to Massachusetts so it makes sense for my character to have traveled there I picked Boston for very specific reasons, and also because I like doing the fun, the funny voice. Boy, I, I feel like I should use this one to one, or someone will come for me. I'm gonna change up some wording here. Unfortunately, there is no rollable statistics for your ideologies and such. Oh, good, so it doesn't, like, matter? It, it doesn't officially matter. It doesn't affect anything. Other than, like, maybe your character might wear a religious symbol that could get them leeway with people of that religion, much like a cleric or paladin. Mm. Uh, meaning with locations, like, places your character used to hang out, like, uh, Jimmy's Hot Dog Stand down at 32nd. In the long run, they don't matter, but, uh... You can use them to fuck yeah. with us, probably. <laughs> uh, this is a one-shot. It's probably going to be played over, like, two or three sessions, so... <laughs> this is not going to be nearly long enough to fuck with you based on your backstories. So it's more like a two or three shot. Yeah. It's designed to be a one-shot, but... We know how our, those go. Our... Yeah. Plus, our increments of game are so or small enough to make it where it could probably artificially extend just because of that. <laughs> Alright, so for right now I'm just going to completely ignore my backstory stuff and type that in later. Yeah. So when you're done, you'll just go to the end tab. It'll give you a review screen to go over all your stats and stuff. God damn. <laughs> That took so long, I forgot how shitty I rolled on stats. <laughs> Alright, now when you're done, you'll just hit finish. And it will make your character sheet for you. Then we get to add in the fun stuff. <laughs> Could have sworn I put more skill points into dodge. Yeah, in Call of Cthulhu, you don't have a whole lot of hit points, and that's all you'll ever get. <laughs> but you also end up with conditions which are the five major wounds, which will lead to death, unconsciousness, and straight-up death. <laughs> there are things that can one-shot you in this TTRPG. There's also temporary insanities and indefinite insanities. Can I not have a treasure, treasure possession? Yeah. Like I was saying, like, not a lot of that stuff's going to matter for a short-term campaign. 
like this. <coughs> what do you put in traits? Uh, physical characteristics. Like, uh, quirks of your character. Oh. Yeah, still no idea what to do. <laughs> yeah, like I said, they're not all that important. I just live with Belink again. I love how one of the skills is just telekinesis. Yeah. <laughs> you can just straight up get like psychic abilities and shit. Okay, so it's done. I will probably be regretted. <laughs> I oh, forgot to change the name. Oh yes, yeah, so you do have to change a character name. That is kind of important. And luckily for me, I came up with a character name beforehand. I also... Shut up, Norton. <laughs> uh, what? <laughs> it popped up for the autocomplete thing when I started typing in my character's name. I'm like, yes, I want to save this character's name in my password vault. Thank you. He's out Boston, Massachusetts, baby. <coughs> yeah. Person. Fuck uh off. -uh. Did it. But yeah, if you flip over to your backstory page now, you'll notice that there are uh, four new things under there. Injuries and scars, phobias and manias, arcane tomes and artifacts, and encounters with strange entities. Which will get added as uh, the game goes on. You find things, are wounded by things, and uh, your sanity <laughs> begins to decrease. Oh, good. Because you gain phobias and manias from sanity decrease. All in our head. Hmm. Alright, if you flip over to your possessions page, it will tell you exactly how much money you have to work with. Got 58 bones. <laughs> Got more than I do. Damn, I'm poor. <laughs> you gotta remember, this is 1920s American money. Hey, man. How much is $36 <laughs> back then? <laughs> well, I mean, that's not terrible. It's not great. <laughs> I imagine it's buying you gas for, like, an eternity. <laughs> 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 uh, it would be worth... Six hundred and forty-four dollars with inflation. God. <laughs> but we also have to account that the the purchasing power also decreased, so we could probably buy a lot of stuff with just thirty-six dollars. Oh, All right. <coughs> like a whole pie is a cent. Alright, well... Alright, so the closest I could find was 1929, and it was 21 cents a gallon. Whew! A and it, gallon? And it went down from there, hitting the lowest in 1931 at 17 cents. Good lord. And that's the lowest the price of gas has ever been. <laughs> I would kill. I would kill. <laughs> Don't know. I think there is an items tab in here. Okay, so yeah. A lot of them are weapons, but uh, there is an items tab in your uh, compendium. 
and it's literally all just weapons. Really? <laughs> yeah. I, I'm seeing like dozens and mm. dozens of guns. A bayonet. Wow. Hold the fuck up. 75 millimeter field gun and high explosive or armor piercing ammunition. Just brass knuckles. Oh, and there's your club baseball bat. How much does this cost? Okay, so there, when I said, well, I said spending level and cash, which one are we able to have? Um, you know, I don't know. Fucking, you pick Nunchaku. Of course, why wouldn't you? I mean, you, you're gonna have that one guy who's gonna be like, I'm a ninja. You'd be surprised. Like, hey man, who knows, maybe a ninja would be able to fuck up some of these tentacle dudes. A cavalry land? <laughs> I Sorry, where talk. are you guys reading that? Uh, at a compendium, there's, uh, items. My guy is, well, he was. Uh, oh, there we go. He was actively in the mob at one point. Of course, I want to top. An arrow. Okay, so your spending level is how much you can spend per day without spending from your reserve of active cash. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh. So our cash is what we can use. No, Always and also. Yeah, your spending level is how much you can spend in a particular day without touching your cash. Awesome. Because it's how much you make per day. You would think they would attach prices to all this shit, but they haven't. You would think. So you're going to have to figure <laughs> that out for us. Because <laughs> I'm sure you have the, the book right in front of you. <laughs> I didn't buy a book. <laughs> Oh. By the way, for this character, I did, I did a full five minutes of practice for a German accent. <laughs> I did a lot of for a lot of uh, training to be doing my Russian accent, and then I got I this didn't... cold, <laughs> and it sounds <laughs> awful now. I've been doing um, exaggerated New York and Boston accents my whole life, so I was I was ready for this. Sure, because I can't do accents, so even researching what I could, like, nope, I'm screwed. Basically, I watched Meet the Medic from the Team Fortress videos, and I started imitating him, and there we are. There we go, I can get a 1911 and my plan is to get a 1911, a bat, and a Thompson. <laughs> oh, that's dope. A lot of people just fucking pulled up the Sears catalog from that year and that's what they go off of for prices. That's fucking sick. <laughs> what the fuck are Elder Sign Bullet? I'm guessing that's something crazy that you could get. Be Firearms so... ammunition carefully inscribed with the Elder Sign. When used against certain Mythos creatures, Elder Sign bullets deal an additional 1d10 plus 1 damage. What is a linguista phone? That's a... I don't fucking know. <laughs> no. Uh, brass ear trumpet just... approximately one foot long with held in years. Uh, I just buy a garage. Understanding language of Earth origin. To build parts costs fifteen hundred dollars and requires one to oh. ten plus five weeks. For the successful hard electrical repair and science mathematics role. You just get a ghost detector. Awesome. I, I'm I'm not over the fact that I could just buy some garot wire. <laughs> the Sears catalog from that year. That's... I don't even know if Sears, like, exists anymore.
Oh yeah, I have to buy ammo. I didn't. I forgot to. Forgot to consider that fact. What type of ammo? All right, let me drop this into the score. Uh, it's a pretty good guide. It doesn't say. Ah, here we. Oh, yes. Thank you, whoever made this list. It's actually on the Chaosium page, which is the people that created Call of Cthulhu. Oh, shit. What? Speakeasy prices? That's very funny. I gotta figure out what gauge fucking Winchester Model 1887 is, because it's one of the few guns in here that isn't specifically named. Luckily, I've looked it up oh, a couple okay. times while building this character. 45 automatic is $40! <laughs> Thompson is... Oh, too, all right, that was never going to happen. Okay, so there's both 16 and 12 gauge variants. <laughs> I just came across a rock. You just pick up rocks and throw them. Yeah. That's, that's, that's your strength. You can walk around with specifically a four pound wood axe. 50 caliber water cooled machine gun. Okay, so I can get a bat. A machine $3. gun is $3,000. I want one. <laughs> that is $3. A handgun is 40 What about some 45 ammo? How much will that cost me? But you gotta keep in mind that your possessions that you go into the game with don't cost you anything. Uh, the la because the last part of character creation is picking out your investigator's kit, which is items they would be traveling with. Since for this adventure we'll be starting out on a small cargo ship, anything reasonably related to your occupation that can fit in a suitcase, sling bag, or a luggage trunk would be allowed. Uh, it could also include trinkets or mementos significant to the characters. Uh, examples of occupational items could include a doctor's bag of implements and medicines, an author's writing materials, or a detective's badge and service weapon. Mm. So you so get a number me, of if items. I make, if I make it convincing enough, hey. All three of these things I've thought about buying are just things I feel like he, he would have. <laughs> but I could also just buy them and not have to make a case. At the very least, I could buy the handgun and the bat. I'm deciding if I want the 12 gauge or 16 gauge version of the shotgun. How much? I need to. Where is the. There's a whole separate tab for illegal weapons. What's in there? The Thompson is illegal. Oh. <laughs> Hand grenade. I mean, of course they're illegal, but you know, this guy's a fucking mob. Monster. I love that shotguns just only get measured by their gauges. Uh, okay, it's a. It's $4 for 145 automatic rounds. Fuck yeah, let's do that. Yeah, I assume you just got a couple boxes of ammunition. I feel like I'm not gonna need a couple. I feel like one is fine. <laughs> yeah, because like the lowest they come is like 25 for shotgun shells. And a box of 145 automatic bullets is fine. <laughs> So, can I just pick any weapon since it's my starting equipment? Uh, well, you were a soldier, so it's reasonable that you would have field equipment that was used by the German military at that time. So, you get to look that oh, up German. now. <laughs> now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask, and if you say no, I'm gonna fucking explode. <laughs> would it be reasonable for this, this Boston mob cleaner 
to be packing a Thompson SMG. It would not be unreasonable. <laughs> there we go, that's what I needed to hear. That is as good as confirmation in my book. Now I need to figure out what type of ammo it takes, because it doesn't say. I assume it's just filed under, like, SMG or small arms ammo. Yeah, but... So I want to say that either fires uh, 45s, 9 mils. I'm to find out. Yeah, it's 45. Yeah, it's what like... the fuck is a 10.6 <laughs> multiple by 25 millimeters type of bullet? Big, probably. <laughs> Okay, you guys are Americans, you speak guns. I don't fucking know anything fuck about guns, dude. Here's what I know. What am I looking I for? Because I'm not seeing anything like that. I know that What Nero the hell would that longer. be comparable to the list of handguns that we have here? Uh... <coughs> I have no fucking idea, dude. Well, I mean, you could just straight up have a model POA Luger, which is a German handgun. <laughs> The worst handgun ever. <laughs> the gun that was made for World War I was outdated in World War One. I. I was thinking of picking a forty-five revolver since because I want to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Uh, no, oh, fuck. fuck. We're going with a 12 gauge. But the question is, do I want the base version or the semi-auto, which I don't think matters for a slam fire shotgun. I can have this motherfucker sawed off if I want to. Where is Club, Club Large? A baseball bat. Oh. And I need two box of 45 ammunition because if I'm gonna if I'm gonna be carrying a fucking Thompson on me definitely gonna want to have a, a lot more 45 than I thought alright so that does get automatically added why are these two different things Point you know it's a really Actually. missed opportunity that we don't have any type of wrench in the hand to hand weapon <laughs> I bet you could you no, know flavor a small control. club as a wrench okay so that'd be what does a small club say? It says like exactly what I'm going to do. Small club, but like it's now a night a nightstick. Yeah, like a fucking monkey wrench well, could be about that size. Uh, give me my fucking Thompson, please. Thank you. Now I need to. So that's forty plus three. That's forty-two bucks. Uh, math. Fifteen dollars. Well, I'll have to figure out how to remove that later. You added something you couldn't remove? No, I was checking the statistics difference between the 12 gauge and the 16 gauge. 40, 15 bucks, man. How much does a box of <coughs> fucking 45 ml cost? Well, I'll figure out how to do so that later. It's you can change, but the uh, supposed nice stick in my possessions is a wrench. Forty-five. All right, four dollars and forty. I think it's just a weapon, right? We don't need like clothes and shit like that. Thirteen dollars. <laughs> For thirteen twenty. I have about. I mean, there's also like general equipment, like. I have like. I have a dollar seventy one left after that. I literally just said that your starting possessions don't come out of your cash. Oh, well, I don't know how much of this could be considered that, but all right. For awesome. ten guns, you could get a shot of rot gut gin, or for five cents, you could get a Coca Cola. Boy, how I wish that was the case now. Um. So, as far as, as far as they're concerned, it's just the weapons for now, right? I think um, it specifically said last session that things like clothes and papers we are not supposed to really write because we wouldn't get that in any general store. More or less, but you can get things that will be relatively uh, 
related to your occupation. Nice. Like, it wouldn't be unreasonable for uh, Max to, say, have a crowbar on him. True. How do I edit <laughs> For nine dollars and fifty cents, you too can have a straight jacket. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I that's what I want. <laughs> For forty nine bucks you can have a ten volume encyclopedia. No, not not the case. Uh, yeah, make, here's the thing. <laughs> If we are going for the occupation stuff, since my character is a mechanic, I would should have a gasoline blowtorch. Fun, I can swim in that shore. Oh my god, they have a whole list in here for transport vehicles. <laughs> Let me just cruise wow. around in a fucking Studebaker for a while. <laughs> I have a... Alright, whatever. Oh, they have a specific list for non-U.S. vehicles. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Got my two, just got my two guns rocking. Boy, <laughs> I didn't consider the SMG skill, but you know what? That's okay, because I didn't know it was an option. So frankly, he probably shouldn't be that good at it. Well, I mean, it's a fucking Thompson. You pull the trigger, and fifty bullets come out in a row. And you just kind of hope it hits whatever you want in the general 20 to 40 yard range. Awesome. Very cool. Alright, I mean, that's about it for possessions, then. At least in the weapons. <laughs> Laxative, nature's remedy for only a quarter. <laughs> what? Nope. Is that what it said? <laughs> yeah. It's under Jesus medical Christ. equipment. Oh boy. Oh yeah, I should have to <laughs> I just need to be looking at this. Oh, there's a button for edit mode. Okay. That's how you remove stuff. Oh what the fuck do I press? At the top right of the screen there's a uh, slider that says edit mode. Oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> oh. Mother oh. <laughs> That would have been useful. Oh, but it doesn't let me type on this stuff. It just lets me get rid of it. We can type stuff. Can? Oh, maybe I need to click this first. There we go. All right, I figured it out. <coughs> I bought if I, think I need some extra ammo. No, bought and then I'll get a couple boxes. I'll be rocking up. Is that the I want to be going through <laughs> fucking bullets fast. Maybe I'll get like. Boxes. I mean, if you look at the statistics, it tells you exact for your uh, combat menu. It tells you exactly how many uh, shots you can do in a round. Oh, okay, that's very good. How many? How many? How many? Did... And then your ammo is how many shots you fire before you have to reload. Ammo. Yeah. Oh, twenty, thirty, or fifty. Awesome. Why didn't why the I maybe just formatted wrong? That's not my <laughs> problem. Cool. And let's look let's look at some of this stuff. Maybe I'll watch this. You can buy a chicken dinner for two fifty? <laughs> what? Awesome. Dinner's only a dollar twenty-five, and what a what a time. These are all the services. <laughs> Pay rent on a house. So, uh, Jesus Christ. I'm actually pretty proficient in medical, so I'm just gonna be walking around with a bunch of fucking aspirin. <laughs> I I also am pretty good at it, but I'm thinking I'm just gonna like, walk around with painkillers and some forceps. I pull bullets out of people. That's 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 what I'm good at doing. 
some bandages, some painkillers, and some more stuff. I'm walking around with my tools and a gasoline blowtorch. <laughs> what the fuck happened? You rolled a 20 for what? I just wanted to see the color of the dice. Oh, okay. That's crazy. Uh, where the fuck? Where is that? You can stay at the YMCA for five bucks. <laughs> okay. Why not? You stay at a flea bag hotel for 75 cents. Oh, boy. But yeah, way back in the day, the YMCA used to actually ran out like rooms and it used to be like yeah. there's a reason it's called the young man's christian association like is that what it stands for i, know, yeah. I just thought it was a bunch of letters <laughs> but no it's actually what it's like. it was what designed to help young men that are down on their luck kind of get back on their feet so if you ever pay attention to the song lyrics I just went in there to get to play their Wii sometimes. <laughs> oh, and think, maybe run a little bit. I think I have gotten all the equipment I care to. <laughs> uh, I mean, I could. I mean, I'm looking at this. Not a ton of this stuff I need, but like, probably would want a bit. <clears throat> a shovel. I don't need a shovel. A crowbar. That. That's it. That's it we're talking about right there. Speaking of, I didn't hear anything about Wood's character until now. <laughs> yeah. You guys went to soldier out. I went to uh, the home front, just, you know, probably a delinquent kind of character. So I'm probably doing some shady shit. <laughs> so we've got two soldiers on opposite sides of World War One, and then we've got a mafioso and a hoodlum. <laughs> what the hell is this yeah. one? So two, so two soldiers from opposing sides of the uh, war and two <laughs> goons, essentially. And exactly. interestingly enough, I wrote into my thing that I pick up uh, quote-unquote security jobs when I came back. You know, the part where I figure out why I'm on this island is, uh, that's a little tougher, but I, I'll, I'll just figure it out. Get me the fuck out of here. <clears throat> I mean, yeah. Oh, here we go. Awesome. But, uh, yeah, pretty sure I've got a uh, rather well-rounded character. I feel like I, I did okay. Like, he's only really good at, like, first aid, intimidation. He's alright at listening to people. I'm... <laughs> he can sneak, he can swim. But, <laughs> uh... <laughs> He can fight hand to hand, all right. <laughs> but uh, if he's got a shotgun in his hands, you should be scared. Because uh, his rifle shotgun skill is ninety. I dumped a lot of points into that. My character can literally fix anything mechanical, and he can shoot well. Otherwise, he's shit. <laughs> I can uh, shoot good, I can talk good, I can fight good. I'm... Not much else. <laughs> <laughs> and interestingly enough, you only use the associated uh, skills for brawl and firearm if you don't already have them in your uh, weapons category. Like you can see how it's a different role now. Oh. Shit. Because now it applies by bonuses and penalties. A little Ooh. late for me to get out of that, so. Alrighty. 
to check it. Um, hold the fire. <laughs> Why does that character uh, art you shows and look oddly familiar? Who are we, who are we talking about? <laughs> only one of us has character art. <laughs> well, only I can only see my thing in my sheet, though. So. Uh, are you talking about me? Yeah. All right, let me just uh, I picked. I, I put German portrait in nineteen twenties and picked the first one that looked good. <laughs> let me reverse Google search to tell you who he is. He is Helmut Klisman. I don't, yeah, I don't know who that is. I, have no idea <laughs> I don't know why, but it does. Right. Let's see here. Yeah, I'm uh, going to get a crowbar. Not for fighting, though. The crowbar is just for, for doing. The bat is for fighting. It says tool set and box. Can I just flavor that as like a lock picking kit? Oh God! Please don't search the the guy from the picture. <laughs> <laughs> he probably did some horrible <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> don't search it, please. Oh Lord. Oh yeah, I should get a should probably have a canteen just to have some water on me. Let's just pretend he was a nice old man. A <laughs> uh, not. See that. No. See that no, organization Sam. didn't exist yet. Uh, they were, yeah, they didn't. <laughs> but is it was this person or not? Maybe. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh my god. Uh, what the fuck? Oh, yeah, you, can... you can search really for pictures of old people and don't expect them to commit horrible shit. Trying to find me some character art of a man who looks like he's seen some shit. <laughs> I mean, I know. Half of this shit is AI generated. <laughs> Half of these are just AI generated images of Chris Hemsworth. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> I knew this was gonna happen! <laughs> I need, something. I need someone who looks like they're dressed sharp. Has... Oh, this is good. Got a this will do. Uh, does this have? Ah, right, yeah, this will do. Oh, uh, what the? F what is this? Uh, save image. What the fuck? I don't want to save it to my download. What's wrong with you? I don't know. Just to my camera roll. Do you? Thank you. Okay, that car that guy feels safe enough. <laughs> I just went. I'm just getting some like art. I'm not going for a real portrait. That's too risky. Yeah, I I know that from experience now. Yeah, you pick, you managed to pick out the first Nazi you saw. <laughs> See, I actually went to the Wikipedia care page for the character I stole the art from immediately. Uh, it turns out he's a famed geneticist. We figure out how oh. to make wheat grow in the tundras of Russia. Oh, neat. You know what I'm really pissed about is I was looking through a bunch of music, uh, uh, musicians' <coughs> pictures. Then all of a sudden this guy, I'm like, oh, he must be a musician, right? This is, this is perfect. What's wrong with this? Oh. <laughs> oh, he's a Nazi. <laughs> Oh man! I don't think there's anything else off of here I want. No, nothing I couldn't just like have <laughs> normally. For and of course, you just pick one of the random fucking AI arts and still got the watermark in the corner. 
Oh, does it? Oh, yeah. shit, my bad. Alright, hold on, I can fix that. I can, I can fix that. Give me a second. This one wasn't AI. This one was. I'm pretty sure this one is. Unless that's an AI <laughs> watermark, in which case, I'm gonna find it. It is, it's crayon. Alright, then a different image it is. I will not. I will not fucking. <laughs> I did not know that's an AI art program, but now I do know that. So. Uh, uh. God damn you. <coughs> fucking. Okay, just to make the 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 guy not, uh, <laughs> not there, there's no there's no excuse, but at least he funded a school and a pharmaceutical healthcare association. Yep. You say that mm. like Hitler didn't have a hand in starting the I just don't want to feel horrible. <laughs> <laughs> just, pick, just pick some new art. <laughs> Even, even fucking I'm gonna I'm gonna find God, gonna how find. do you have so much more just regular cash than me? God damn. I don't know, I just kinda I just kinda put like a, a few points into it. I put what I had left. Ah He made some merchants an offer they couldn't refuse. I pointed a gun at them and they gave me a lot of money. <laughs> exactly. Oh, this is all like this. Not only is all of this AI generated, <laughs> but also this is more like D and D focused. Damn it, Pinterest! You usually do good by me. <laughs> now you're all fucking filled up with AI generated art. Oh yeah, he put fucking twenty nine points in your credit rating. That'll do it. Yeah. Why did we all take points in first aid? <laughs> we do not want to die. Well, I don't trust you bitches. <laughs> Dying is... We don't want to die. <laughs> I bet I've got, like, a piece of art somewhere in my gallery that I can fucking use, hopefully. There's gotta be... There's gotta be something. My cat won't stop yelling at me. <sighs> God damn you, AI generated art. I will never forgive you for what you've done to me. <laughs> He's alone on this. We all love AI here. We welcome our AI overlords if they're listening. We know they are. We know they are. <laughs> um, you know what? Ow! Fine. I'll just. All of us took proficiency in good, <laughs> and I like that. All right, this time, don't be. Mostly yeah, if I literally can... anything breaks down, Walter's got that shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he needs a paper clip and a little time. <laughs> paper clip, a rubber band, and some shoot up bubble gum. Make it exactly. anything that has a motor. I read a book about the about the war where a guy was using a flamethrower where the only thing connecting the cables was a chewed piece of bubble gun. Sounds about right. Maybe they can contain the fluid within without superheating and shipping off. But... Um. Oh, fucking more AI. I love how none of us can drive a fucking car. <laughs> I'm Where? walking. Fuck you all. <laughs> I walked. I walked everywhere. You can fucking ruck for miles. 
Oh my fuck. I'm just gonna let her in. She's gonna keep yelling. I should probably have put some points into driving. Come on. I think we're gonna be on an island. How do we... There's not gonna be much there, you know? Is there? You're ridiculous. I don't know. I haven't read a whole lot into the setting. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're screwed. <laughs> this is good enough. This is like, this is close enough to what I want. I don't know. This might. I think this is a pre existing thing, but I don't. I don't care i don't know what it's from so it doesn't matter <laughs> you say that like two of us didn't pick historical artwork <laughs> true uh, that's me that's several pictures of me where did those come from there we go <laughs> you say it's shit about the ai they come after you no, these are these are these are quarantine pictures of me, so they're they're quite old. Yeah, I know. Oh. They've been. I'll rub me your over. head on my keyboard. I need I need that to not have cat hair in it. There we go. <laughs> Don't try to roll at me. You'd be cute. I'm mad at you right now. Why does that character look familiar? Uh, because I it's the. Uh, the the Google tab I took it off of said it was from uh, the TV trope page, so maybe you've seen them before. It's entirely possible. But I don't know who it is, so it doesn't matter. Somehow this Alexander guy looks more evil than my <laughs> character. I think uh. it's the name. Russian names just like sound like they could be villain names. Not that they are. They just could be. I'm pandering to nobody, <laughs> but like, you get what I'm saying, right? By the way, my first thought was making a communist character. <laughs> hey, you fall for the American side, damn it. Yeah, but I mean, they could be allies with differing <laughs> societal opinions. Okay, that's where I recognize him from. He's a character from fucking Bacano. I don't know what that is. It's an anime. I would have guessed as much. <laughs> that part I didn't need to be told. What a bunch of nerds. Perfect. Got it all figured out. No. Alrighty. And with Why? all of our characters created and on their lifeboat, perhaps to certain doom, <laughs> that is where we're going to end our character building session. Beautiful.